Welcome to the first of a series about the basics of the central station. The new central stations have two inputs in the front. You can hook up your mobile station or stations to these inputs and they become additional hand controllers. On the bottom, if you have a central station plus, three plus, there will be an input here. On the regular one, this is a regular CS3, that input is not there. And then there are several inputs on the back side. For one, you have your two card slots in which you can put memory cards that were issued with uh, a certain generation of Merkelin locomotives. You can put in an additional SD card to extend the memory. I believe the memory right now is eight uh, gigabytes and you can put a memory card up to 32 gigabytes to increase the memory. Then there is a headphone jack or an external speaker output, your internet connection, a charging port, a USB charging port, it charges only, two USB ports, then there are several uh, Merklin system ports, two track outputs, one goes to a dedicated programming track and the other one goes to your track, to your layout, and then finally a power input. That's all there is to the central station. Then we'll talk about the power supply. And for the Merklin uh, HO or for everybody HO and N scale, you use the 60045. It comes with the American plug, but for our friends that are in South America or Australia or New Zealand, it actually is one of the standard plugs. So the you can either use a conversion plug or buy a new cord. And then if you are into N scale, you can actually also set the voltage to 15 volts right here and work with a lower voltage range. For HO, you're gonna set it to 19 volts like so. One gauge users and G scale will use a different power supply. They'll use the 60195. The plug, has a flat portion that you can see here and there is a sleeve and that sleeve actually it's hard to show here but the sleeve will move to unlock the plug from the central station so the power port on the central station is right here it is marked with power and as I told you the flat portion goes to the bottom and you plug it in now it needs to be plugged in all the way and you're going to hear a click. It takes quite some force. Click. There it is. And then the only way to pull out the plug would be to hold on this sleeve. And now you can see it. It can actually slide backwards. And then you can take the plug back out. Oop. Hit the camera. And you can see it takes quite some force. Then the only other thing that you really have to worry about besides the power to get to your basic operation is to plug in the cord with the brown red wire like was supplied with your central station. It goes in this first output right next to the power input and then you connect that wire to your track. This is all there is to it. Then, if you have a mobile station, you can connect the mobile station to the front of the unit. And I have a mobile station right here. And the mobile station comes with a plug with a flat portion on the bottom. The thing to watch for with the mobile stations is that these pins are pretty fragile. And so you want to align the bottom of the plug first with the bottom portion on the input before you plug it in and then go ahead and push it in and that's all there is to that. 